Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. How to guide, how to download, install, and set up MSI Afterburner to put those wonderful green real-time performance numbers up in the left-hand corner of the screen as you see in my game performance videos. First thing you'll need to do is go to msi.com slash page slash afterburner as you can see right up here at the top of the screen. And then you're gonna click the downloads button and then the button is right here for download Afterburner. When you download it, simply run it. It will install two separate programs, MSI Afterburner itself and Rivia Tuner Statistics. You do have to let it install both programs or it will not work. Once both programs are installed and you open up MSI Afterburner, this is the very first thing that you will see. Now there's several interesting pieces of information here and MSI Afterburner does more than just put real-time numbers on your screen. It allows you to control uh, fan speed, clock speed, temperature limits, power limits. You can overclock your graphics card with this. Even if you don't have an MSI card, this will work with most graphics cards. You can see here that I have an AMD RX 460 installed, and I'm currently running the latest Crimson Relive drivers as well. If you wish MSI Afterburner to start every time you start Windows, there's a wonderful startup button right here. Check that, it will start with Windows, uncheck it, and then it won't. You can see here, we have our clock speed for our memory, our clock speed for our core clock, our actual GPU, temperature and power limits, and then your fan speed. You can turn off auto, you can set fan speed to something higher, but as you notice on auto, it's at 0% because most of the new cards are zero fan speed cards. When there's no load being put on the card, the fans don't turn. But that's not what you came here for. You wanna see how to put those wonderful numbers up on the screen. First things first, you need to click on this settings button right here. When you click on settings, there will be a number of things to check. First of all, yes, we do have the correct video card selected. On laptop computers, you will usually have two choices here. You will have your uh, integrated graphics from Intel, and then you will have your dedicated graphics. Usually for laptops, it's gonna be Nvidia, but make sure that you choose the right card. Now, since we're on a desktop, there's only one choice. Click the monitoring tab usually tab number three. You're gonna see a long list of items in this monitoring tab. You will see check boxes next to each one of them. However, these will not show up on the screen. We're gonna choose GPU temperature as an example. There is a show in on-screen display button down here and then you will notice in properties, it now says show in on-screen display. It will now show in the on-screen display. How handy is that? Furthermore, you can reorder these. Simply click, drag, and drop, and now GPU usage is before temperature. GPU usage, will click show and on-screen display. Power, I don't show, you certainly can if you want to. I don't show that. I don't show fan speed, but I do show the fan tachometer. I'm actually gonna set this up the way I do it in my videos, so you can match it if you're interested. You can, of course, adjust these as you wish. Core clock there is the clock speed of your GPU itself. And then we have memory clock speed, which I'm actually gonna drop beneath. Well, I'll reorder these because I'm going to have memory usage first, memory clock speed second. Now frame rate is not checked by default. Just click on it to check it and click show an on-screen display. I'm going to drag that down. We're going to uncheck the individual CPUs. I am going to use CPU temperature, uncheck CPU usage one, two, and three, and that's because I use the combined numbers. I do not use the individual cores. CPU usage here, this is worth noting, let me talk about this. CPU usage is the overall usage of all of your processing cores. In this case, I'm doing this test on an i5 machine, so we have four cores. If this were an i7, it would be CPU usage one through eight because it's actually tracking threads, not cores. If you want to display the usage of each individual thread, you can certainly check each of these here and make them in the on-screen display if you want to. I think it makes it a cluttered mess, so I just do CPU usage and I do CPU temperature, CPU uh, frame rate, I'm gonna move that down, RAM usage, I do not put page file usage up, and I will put frame rate under, oh, sometimes it doesn't go where you want to. There we go. There's RAM usage, and then there is frame rate. 
It is now set up the same way that I have my game performance videos set up. So at this point, all you have to do is click on OK. And if you look down here in the right hand corner, you'll notice a new icon has popped up, Rivia Tuner Statistic Server. This will appear anytime that you have MSI Afterburner open at this point, because that is actually what is doing the real time numbers on the upper left hand corner of your screen. There is one further thing I want to do. I'm going to double click on this and open it up and show you because this is how you change how it looks on the screen. First things first, I recommend you change it from Vector 3D to Raster 3D. That's what makes the numbers look much nicer. I'm going to make it larger. And just to show you the difference, that's the square blocky font. That's the nice rounded font, personal choice. You choose what you want, but that's the difference. That is how you put an on-screen shadow. That's how you put the black outline around the numbers to make it easier to read is the on-screen display shadow. Click this color button here, and this is how we change it to green. Now, you can of course change it to whatever color you want. There's red, there's dark blue, and so on. I have been using green for most of mine. One further point, the way it's set up now, the numbers will be in the very, very upper left-hand corner of the screen right up against the edge of your monitor. If you want to give yourself some room or change the position, this is the controls to do so. Most of my videos have it set to 20 offset. Now, you can make this more or less. You can even position it on the right side of the screen or the bottom of the screen if you wish, but that is how you move the numbers around the screen. So this has been a quick how-to guide for MSI Afterburner and the real-time performance numbers displayed on your screen. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel using the big huge red button directly below this video. Questions and comments in the comment section. And as always, check out my video description. All the links down there will be very useful and helpful. And I would certainly appreciate it if you use them if you like my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.